Hey guys, welcome back to another Nasaga Data Maharaj challenge update. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm not sure what day it is, but we're past halfway. We're well on the way to three years, approaching three years of hardcore meditation to see if we can reach enlightenment. Now, how am I doing? Really good. <laughs> so I've got this technique where I, I call it C3 images, which is basically you focus your eyes on one point in space and then you kind of just like sway your head a little bit like eventually you start to replace it with just authenticity but you know until you reach that point you just sway your head you look at an object and a thought comes but you kind of just like see straight through it because it's like an image in your head you see straight through the thought it pops up and you bring it back so it's just essentially classic meditation for you so yeah and it's working really well i'm in a really really good state i'm doing really really good um, but obviously I'm being vigilant because I know at any time I can have a negative thought and it can pull me out or you do just do just bring it back. But sometimes a negative thought, you take a hit consciousnessly. So you take a hit, you, it lowers your consciousness. Um, then you have to accumulate presence again because yeah, you can't just, it takes no time to be present. It time takes time to accumulate presence. You can't accumulate presence in one moment of being present. You'll accumulate how much you are at that level instantly i mean not accumulate but just pop into it where you are on the scale of consciousness on the map of consciousness on heaven middle zone and hell um yeah so you'll be there and then yeah but it takes time to bounce back from hits it takes time and time doesn't exist but you know what i mean we language is limited um I'm trying to think what else this is probably going to be a really short video we're approaching two minutes yeah um, yeah, just keep meditating and, 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 and I do get these negative thoughts sometimes. They're really frustrating because they're about other people and they actually like, they bring that person's mood down because my thoughts affect my body and my body affects them. But also thoughts are energy and when you think an energy, you think a thought, you manifest that energy and that energy starts to attract it. It's all law of attraction. So if you have a negative thought about someone, and the one rule with law of attraction that Dolores Cannon says is do not use it to harm yourself or others. And I've been using that <laughs> unintentionally. It's unwanted thoughts. You know, I've got to go through these unwanted thoughts. As Ramana Maharshi says, um, the gauge of spiritual progress is the degree of peace you feel and the freedom from unwanted thoughts. So um, I know that it's not me. I know that it's my ego. <laughs> and it's just thinking it's just being riled up because it's dying. Um, yeah, so I'm just using the law of attraction in the negative and I do get these thoughts and it really frustrates me. Um, but yeah, no, um, I hope you guys are doing good. I've already sent a few negative. Anyway, don't worry. I hope you guys are doing good. Join me on this challenge. Um, it's just three years to three years of hardcore meditation constantly. No matter what you're doing, you're meditating. And if you need to think, you think. It just comes. It's like the door opens when you need to. But then when you, you know when you're present and you need to think, the door opens. But when you don't, the door closes. So it's just. You get more of that when you meditate. You get more of this. No thought, just presence. No thought, just peace. No, I'm not. I haven't got an, like an extraordinary amount of peace, but I've got enough to know that I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing, and that it will grow and intensify. So, all right. I hope you guys have. I hope you have a good one, and I'll chat to you later. Peace. Chills out.